Hello and welcome to Steel and Wood. So, last video we talked about how uh, is it's my belief that if you if you have a, a fighting rifle, whether it be an AR-15, a AR-10, um, any any sort of uh, rifle that you intend to use for defense, <clears throat> then you the first thing that's needed if it doesn't come with it is a set of iron sights and as you can see with this Palmetto State Armory uh, PA-10 there are no iron sights now I don't care if you get a uh, red dot uh, a scope on it whatever else um, I still believe that your backup iron sights are a very uh, important thing it's a whole lot easier to break a piece of glass or an electronic than it is a piece of steel. So what I have here are the Troy Industries uh, HK style sights. This is the front sight and the rear sight. And a lot of I just wanted to make a video uh, how to install your uh, iron sights. So a lot of uh, Picatinny rail accessories you can actually just loosen the mounting screw and your other your clamping piece on the other side you can it'll still be threaded in and you can just loosen it up enough to get it past the the ridge on the Picatinny rail to slide it on and then tighten it up these are a little bit different uh, you actually have to take the clamping piece off to get these on but the process will still be the same whether you're using magpul uh backup iron sights or anything anything else really that attaches to a picatinny rail <clears throat> um, there are a couple tips and tricks to remember while you're attaching these so we'll go ahead and get started the things you'll need are for my sights i need a flathead screwdriver to attach uh, the sight to the picatinny rail um, you whatever uh, method or bolt or whatever uh, type of head that's on the bolt that goes into the Picatinny rail that's the tool you'll use whether it be a an Allen wrench or a, a Torx bit or whatever what have you the second thing we'll need is some what they call blue Loctite the actual number on it is 242 and before you get started you really want to give this a good shake because if you have ever worked with this before uh, then you'll remember that if you don't shake it you'll get a separated mixture where there's a clearer blue uh, liquid and a thicker uh, uh, hazy or, or opaque lighter blue color liquid you want to make sure that's all mixed together so you give this a good shake just like you would uh, you know a, a small paint can or anything like that so first thing I'm going to do is attach the front sight generally the rule of thumb is you put your front sight as far forward as it will fit on the Picatinny rail Put your rear sight as far back as it will, as it'll fit. So for my rifle, if we line up this bolt in the gap of the, uh, in between the ridges of the Picatinny rail, we can get it all the way up here. Okay. Now from there, I'm just going to make sure that that bolt stays in place and I'm going to grab my little clamping piece that goes on the other side. Now this can only go one way, so that should aid you in your uh, mounting this. Generally, whenever you're installing something with a screw, you want to start it by hand. But being as this is such a, a uh, shallow screw here, you may have to gently get it started 
with your uh, screwdriver, Allen wrench, whatever you may uh, have to use. So I will line this up and actually just start the threads. And remember, since we're not turning this in by hand, you want to be very gentle with this. If you start to feel any kind of resistance, uh, stop what you're doing because you don't want to cross thread this. So, one of the other things to remember is to make sure that you get this iron sight on in the right direction. Generally with folding sights like these are, the sight will fold down towards the rear of the rifle. Uh, front, this front sight will fold down to the rear as well as the rear sight will. Okay, so we know we're, we've got it facing in the right direction. We've got our screw started. Um, now there's two ways that you can do your Loctite. Either before you started screwing that on, you can uh, put a drop of Loctite on the screws there, on the, on the threads of the bolt, and then start screwing this in, and you will uh, have the threads go into the clamping piece and get the Loctite inside there. Basically, the idea of the Loctite is that it's going to prevent this screw from loosening while, uh, you know, while you're firing, you have heavy vibration and that sort of thing. You want to prevent that from loosening up. So that's where the Loctite comes in. The other way is, if you notice, I'll pull up this other clamping bit, this hole goes all the way through. So what you can do is just get those threads started and put a drop in that hole, which is what I'm going to do. Loosen this just a little bit because you want to try to get that Loctite on as many of the threads as you can. So I'll hold it in place. I will take this Loctite and just give one drop. Oh, came out a little quick there. Let's dab that up. Ideally, you just give one drop, and then you can go about tightening this to the correct torque. Now, I don't have a torque wrench, so I'll just do this by feel, but you want to make sure you don't strip this, but this still needs to be pretty snug. And something to remember while you're tightening this up is, and this applies to scopes, red dots, anything else, you want to push this forward. Push this sight forward against the Picatinny rail, because if you see, you got that little bit of slop there. You push it forward while you're tightening this so that when the rifle recoils back, it's the sight doesn't move forward uh, because there's a gap in front of it. So you push that forward, tighten this up. Make sure we're square on that side, and we are. And we're just going to tighten this down. Okay, that feels solid. We're not going to over tighten this and strip our screw head. And then we'll just come back on the other side and dab up any excess Loctite we have here. This same process will go for the rear sight. Exact same process. It's a different looking sight, right? But the mechanics of applying it to the Picatinny rail are exactly the same. Well, thank you for watching my video. Uh, I'm preparing to get this rifle out to the range and hopefully uh, I will be going out this weekend and we can film 
some shots with this and and uh, see how it performs once again thank you for watching my videos uh, like and subscribe comment uh, if you wish and I'm signing out I will catch you on the next video thanks